dass vorne vielleicht auch These days, online retailer Zalando is manufacturing more of its own clothes and not just selling other brands. In just five years, Zalando CEOs have turned a basement business into an internet giant that enjoys a turnover of around a billion euros. But critics say the success comes at the cost of its employees. We work very hard at making this a good place to work. If you take a walk through the office, you can see that there's a very creative, very youthful atmosphere. The same applies to the logistics department. That's one of the reasons why we now do a lot ourselves. It allows us to stay in control of what we're doing and what our staff is doing. To placate its critics, Zalando now only dispatches orders from its own logistics centers, in Erfurt, for example. A year ago, the company was facing allegations of worker exploitation, from low pay to constant supervision and a ban on sitting down. Daniel Belot from Erfurt Logistics categorically refutes complaints about worker conditions. Our employees here at Zalando Logistics in Erfurt are earning a gross wage of €8.79 per hour. We also offer a pension scheme, capital accumulation benefits and subsidized lunch in the canteen for €2.50. And of course we have our wonderful Zalando voucher, which allows people to buy up to €1,500 worth of items for 40% of its value. But the relevant trade union begs to differ and has called the company to account. Since then, Zalando has introduced a number of improvements, but it could still do more. Zalando employees tend to have temporary contracts. They're not paid according to wage agreements, so they don't get Christmas bonuses or holiday pay. Working conditions in the warehouses are terrible, both in summer and in winter. It's much too hot in summer, so lots of people end up passing out. And then in winter it's freezing cold. 1,500 people work at the logistics center in Erfurt alone. Most of them have been here about a year. They package the wares and work for eight hours in two shifts, with a half-hour break. Management maintains that staff are welcome to suggest improvements. One such improvement was the recent introduction of family-friendly working hours. But it costs the company money to implement changes. Yes, of course, but in the end the atmosphere is a positive one. The working climate is healthy and employees are happy. If employees are happy and satisfied, they'll work harder. Back in the design department in Berlin's trendy Friedrichshain district. The business has grown rapidly, even though it was posting losses for years. Right now, the company is looking to take things a little slower. Our focus at the moment is on consolidating our position in the 14 markets that we have a foothold in. That means investing in faster, more efficient workflows, as well as improving and extending our product portfolio, and ultimately continuing to expand in these markets. Zalando stocks around 150,000 items which it sells online. A booming business, so long as the company's shaky reputation doesn't affect customer loyalty.